Hello everyone, welcome to webinar Managing IIS with Puppet. My name is Jan Heida, I work as DevOps engineer at WM Premise, and today I would like to talk about Puppet. Puppet is a configuration management tool that allows you to automate management of multiple servers and application. It can also be used as a deployment tool. With Puppet you can easily deploy software and applications to your servers, and that is what I will show you today. Today, I will use Puppet to deploy IIS application on a Windows machine and to configure that IIS application to show a simple static website. We will start by looking at Puppet Enterprise Console and by classifying a node. Then we will RDP to that node where we execute Puppet manually. Then we will take a look in Puppet Enterprise Console in the report section on what we actually did. And at the end, we can then use Puppet to change the IIS website. This is Puppet Enterprise Console and its landing page showing overview of some basic information about the nodes that are being managed by Puppet. But we are interested in the classification section where we can actually tell Puppet what to do on which node. For that, we need to create a classification node group. You can call it, for example, IIS deployment. And in this node group, we need to do two things. We need to pin a node and we need to declare a class. We can pin a node by specifying a rule in this section or by typing the host name, which is what we will do. In the configuration section, we need to declare a class. We've created a one class that contains the code for deploying IIS and it is called demo IIS, so let's add it. This class also contains a bunch of parameters, but we don't really need to change them at this point. The default value will do just fine. So after committing those changes, we can go to the server. This is a freshly installed Windows server. I did only one change in here and that is installation of Puppet. So let's double check that IIS isn't installed here. It's not, so let's execute Puppet agent. And now Puppet is running. Now Puppet will, Puppet agent will gather all the facts about this node and send them to Puppet Master and, re and it requests a catalog. Puppet Master will then compile a catalog using the node group that we've created and the class demo IIS that we've added to the node group. And it will send a compiled catalog back to the Puppet agent and Puppet agent will apply the catalog. It will do so by taking taking a look at every resource described in the catalog and comparing it to the actual state of that resource on this server. Right now we can see that it started changing something on this server. Puppet agent installed Windows feature called IIS and then it scheduled a reboot of this machine. Then it installed another Windows feature. This one is called IIS 7 management scripts and another one. There will be actually a whole bunch of them, so let's use this time and take a look at the code. This is the demo IIS class that we've added to the known group. In here we can see the parameters, and in here we can see the resource that just got applied, the IIS resource, the Windows feature resource called IIS. As I said, there are a whole bunch of them. And after the last Windows feature resource, there is this reboot, a reboot resource. So that means that when Puppet agent gets in here, it will reboot the computer. When, Puppet, uh, when the Windows server gets started again, Puppet will pick up where it left off and it will continue its run with, with installing IIS application pool, using this parameter as its name and using these settings. After that, this file gets created or this directory gets created, then IIS site gets created. 
this exec will make sure that the IIS site is running. File index.html on this path gets created, and at the end, IIS application gets created. Since Puppet is still crunching through the Windows features, let's fast forward to when this, this Windows server gets restarted. Puppet just restarted the server, and the server is running again, so that means that Puppet agent is continuing its run. And we can use this for taking a look at the report section. And here, this is the, the Puppet run that we've triggered. And in the log section, we can take a look on what actually happened on that server. Again, IIS Windows feature got installed, another Windows feature, another, and another. As I said, a whole bunch of Windows features, and at the end, the server got rebooted. Let's go back to the reports. It looks like, yes, the second part of the Puppet run is finished as well. So let's take a look at the log. And as I said, it started with IIS application pool called test app pool. Then this uh, folder got created. Then IIS site called test IIS site got created index.html file got created, and IIS application got created. So let's go to the server. We should have IIS in here in the tools, and it is indeed in here. In, in here, in the application pools, yes, we can see test app pool, and there should be, there is test IIS site and test website. Let's browse to it. And we can see simple static website. As I said at the beginning, we can do some changes to this, to this index.html side because this part is actually a parameter in the template in the Puppet code. So we can go back to the Puppet Enterprise Console and in the classification section in the known group that we've created, we can put a different value in the parameter. Now, if I comment this, on next Puppet run, Puppet will use this value for parameter called message instead of the default value in the code. So let's try it. Let's execute another Puppet run. There is no need for me to run Puppet Agent manually because by default Puppet is executed every 30 minutes on every server that is being managed by Puppet. But we want to see the re result now and we want to see the log right away. So it's better for us to run Puppet Agent minus T in here than to wait and check in the Puppet console. So right now Puppet Agent is applying the catalog and the catalog contains the value from, from the Puppet Enterprise Console, the one that we specified. So, so it should do only one thing. Since we haven't removed any Windows feature, we haven't changed anything in the IIS configuration, there is only one thing for Puppet to do, the content of index.html file is different than the one that there should be, so it got changed. So let's refresh this and we have our value in here. So that was it. That was our demo about managing IIS by Puppet. Thank you all for watching. Deploying IIS is pretty straightforward example. Puppet can be used for much cooler and much sophisticated stuff. So if you, if you have a need of that, don't hesitate to get in touch. Or if you have any questions, you can just email us or ping us and we'll get back to you. Thank you for watching.